So Drew just talked to us about cultures and defining a culture within an organization and what a PI's culture is like. Now, what if you are want to make, wanting to make sure that your culture aligns with your results and with your hiring? We have a fairly simple framework for you. We call it the culture wheel. Think of it this way. First, you want to define your culture. A lot of companies have mission statements and value statements, and they have cultures defined in a really kind of platitudinous way. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll see things in an employee handbook, but, it, but sometimes the, uh, the, the, what's written and what actually is uh, observed and celebrated are two different things. So if you want to get those closer together, first start by defining what are those cultural aspects that unify the company that, that everybody holds dear in order to achieve their goals. Next, I want to make sure that you demonstrate those cultural values. If you are at the top of a company or leading a team, or even if you're not, it's important to demonstrate those values to your colleagues and to other people outside of the company who might be considering joining. Beyond demonstrating by, um, by example, there can be a specific education that happens both within a company and for potential recruits that are going to join a company. People want to know what a company stands for, and they want to really know if, if they're going to be a good fit for it. They want to self-select, so that is key. Next, once you have people on your team, hold them accountable for aligning with the culture. The key thing here is that goaling on a culture and, and goaling on, on somebody uh, aligning their behaviors with the desired cultural behaviors is just as important and just as impactful as goaling around uh, quantitative business results. The best companies actually do that. So once you're holding people accountable, it makes sense to, to reinforce uh, this and to celebrate when people are acting in, behave, in, in accordance with a culture. And, uh, and you know, for instance, some companies have awards for uh, particular things. I know at one company I worked at, they, had, they wanted to promote collaboration. So they had this award called the Multiplicative Collaboration Award. It doesn't have to be a huge award at a company meeting once a year. It could be in a very uh, uh, kind of more organic and, and, and quieter way by just saying, hey, great job. You were acting in accordance with the, with the culture. Um, and lastly, revisit. Cultures are living things. They evolve over time. A company today might be very different than it was five years ago, might be very different than what it will be in five years as new people come in and as the context changes. So making sure to revisit that culture regularly, uh, for instance, by, uh, by surveying employees and saying, how is our culture distinct now from how it was a couple of years ago? How is it shifting? So by following this process and, and coming back to it, you can have a, have a good way of, of aligning your culture with, uh, with your team and with your uh, business results.